Sometimes your health comes down to the simple numbers, and I'm here with gastroenterologist Dr. Rodriguez. We're going to discuss how your pH number could be responsible for pain, and of course, pH refers to the acidity in your body, right? Absolutely. It's so, a measure of acid. So right. pH of your esophagus, how, how does that affect my well, health? Well, let's start off by saying that your stomach is what makes acid. So acid needs to stay in the stomach or go down the intestine. If it comes up to the esophagus, it's not a good thing. So gastroesophageal reflux diseases, when that acid or those acid contents of your stomach go up into your esophagus, we have an animation exactly. here. which is beautiful. Think of your stomach as a volcano, and the lava, which is the acid, has to stay in the stomach. When it comes up like a volcano burst, that's bad. That's reflux. So normally, this right here, you should have a lower esophageal sphincter that will stop the contents from going back up into the esophagus, but sometimes? Sometimes you don't. Sometimes some people are born with hiatal hernias where that sphincter is too open, and sometimes we eat so much that the actual contents of the stomach open up the sphincter. That's why we get heartburn.